you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Petra and today I'm going to do a New Year's look if you haven't guessed already by the thumbnail and everything like everybody else is doing New Year's looks. Mine's a little late. I'm sorry about that. It's just been a little bit crazy and I've been just really busy actually. So I think people tend to kind of fall off towards the holidays anyways because it's just crazy. So um, anyways this is the look that I created and it took me a little bit of time to get there so uh, I hope you guys enjoy and yeah that's it. So I'm gonna stop blabbing your face off and let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna do my eyes first. I haven't put down my base yet because I'm gonna use glitter and I tried using glitter with foundation on the other day and that was a sad story. So I'm not gonna do that again. So I'm gonna start with my eyes and then I'll do foundation and blah, 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 all that later. First, I'm going to put a lip gloss on because I can't handle when my lips feel like they look gross. I like when they look moisturized when I do my, my filming because I can't handle when people's lips look cracky and gross. So, I'm gonna go in with the, uh, this is the Magic by Juvia's right here. I've used this before. I just love the shades in here. They're pretty crazy and awesome. So, I'm gonna go in with this Japanesque brush. I'm gonna go into that shade Nana. Nana is right there. It's like a warm brown shade. I'm just gonna do that into the crease. I like these Japanesque brushes, they're pretty good. They're solid brushes for a drugstore brush. And I like how the, the handle feels like really solid and it's a little bit wider, so I kinda like it. I don't know, just sharing. Um, then I'm gonna go in with the shade Zakaya right here. It's like a, it's a little more rust colored. It's showing up a little more brighter orange, but it is actually a little bit more rust colored in shade. God, these shades, I don't, like honestly, like when, like those big shot makeup artists come out with like um, products like the Pat McGrath palette like I've been debating on like oh $120 for a palette are you kidding me and I like look at it and I don't think I'm gonna get it because I look at it and I'm like those shades are at Juvia's like Juvia's has like all the shades you could ever want and they're for like a fraction of the price and look at how they blend I mean look at these like, I don't know. And it's like they, they lay down well and they don't, they just are awesome shadows. I don't know what it is, but. So that's kind of the transition there. So now, this is where I feel like I've been getting, I'm gonna get stuck. Like, kind of been stuck on trying to figure out this look that I wanna do. And I want it to be like kind of smoky and dark, but I also want it to be like coppery and sparkly. And I have these really cool glitters I got from NYX. Um, this is one that I want to use. This is in the shade, which one is this one? It's called Dubai Bronze. And then I have another one here. I kind of want to use the purple too. This one is called Violet. That one has like a cool iridescent kind of shade. Then I got this green one, which I want to use at Christmas, but I, I'm still kind of sick. But this green one's kind of sick. Ooh, that would look good with the kind of... I don't know, it'd look good if I could do something with that. And then this awesome silvery bluish. I feel like it's like kind of silver blue. I don't know, this one's called Dark Side. Oh, and then the green one was called... Uh, it was just called Teal. And then I'm going to take actually my fluffier brush and just kind of blend over all that just to kind of soften it up a little bit more. I'm going to go into the Metal Matte Palette. I'm going to go into the shade Oak right here. I'm going to put that like further in the crease here. Okay, I'm actually going to go back 
back into that inner corner. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add, make it kind of like more halo-y looking. I think I'm gonna add in the orange-ish tan shades into the corner here as well. I really hope I don't screw this up, you guys. I feel like I've been like, kind of struggling with like sitting down and filming and just being like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I usually do better when I just don't think about it. I just sit down, I don't get in my head, and then I just like film something, but I don't know why it's just been really hard to do that lately. So um, then I'm gonna go back in with that oak shade in the metal matte palette. So I'm leaving the center of my eye blank so I can go in with like some fun glitter later. And I'm gonna go in to the Metal Matte Palette into the shade Jet right here. It's a pretty good black shade, but I kinda wanna deepen up the outer edges just a little bit more. That's what we have so far. And then, okay, what now? So then I really wanna do some glitter stuff, but, well not glitter yet, not glitter. Not glitter yet, we're going to, don't wanna ruin my look. Don't wanna ruin it, cause I've finally come a little ways on this, so. But I think I am gonna go in with some copper here, so I think take my flat these are I got some new Linda Hallberg brushes for Christmas they're really nice I really like them um, the feel of they have like a nice wood handle and then they just have her little logo right there and this one is the flat why isn't it focusing there this is the flat shader brush and it is in number 305 so I'm gonna put Let's see what happens. Let me put this in the inner corner. You guys can't really see that, I don't think, on camera. It's not really showing up like I want. So. I know what we're gonna do. Oh, I think this will look nice. We're gonna go in we're gonna go in with the shade Stigmata right here, which is kind of a like reddish, I don't know. It's like a deep, deep like pink with an orange undertone, I feel like, and it's called Stigmata. So I'm gonna go in with that in on the center of my eye. I just want something that's a good shade for underneath the glitter that I'm gonna put on top. Cause I'm gonna put on top like this, it's like a coppery, glittery shade. And then I kinda wanna do something brighter on the inner corner, I guess. What do I have though? I feel like I need, I'm like, I can think of the color that I want. I just don't have it anywhere. <laughs> I like keep thinking like, ah, oh, I've got to have a shade like that. I mean, with all the makeup I have, you would think that I would have the shade that I really need for this like inner corner. And I just am not finding it. All right, it's time to snap out of it. What am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna go in now with a a black shade in the inner corner. So I'm gonna go back to that jet shade in the metal in the metal matte palette. And I'm gonna actually put it in the corner again. I'm sorry, I'm so sniffy, you guys. This cold is like driving me nuts. Right. So screw it, we're just gonna go with glitter now. 
So I'm gonna go in with this NYX glitter primer right here. And this is really good. If you wanna save some money, use this and not buy the Too Faced one that's like 20 bucks. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand. I'm gonna use this little tiny technique. It's like whatever, Real Techniques brush here. Go a little tiny end. And I'm just going to paint that all where I want the glitter to go. So that's gonna be all over the center of my eyelid, pretty much almost up to the crease, but not quite up there. So it's already starting to get a little tacky. And with the glitter. And I'm just gonna start putting it down. This is in the shade Dubai Bronze. I couldn't remember what it was called. God, I'm sounding bad, you. I'm sounding really sick, you guys. Oh, that's pretty. I need something on the inner corners, though. So I think I'm gonna bring the glitter all the way down to the inner corner. I feel like I need something shimmery in here. So I'm gonna put the glue down here. But now it's like I feel like the outer edges are missing. Glitter. Doesn't look right. Okay, you know what? I think I just have to put glitter. You guys, I think I just have to put glitter everywhere. Like, oh my god, I can see why, how people get addicted. Like, are you kidding me? Like, why, why do we get so addicted to glitter? I mean, I don't even like, like, diamonds and, like, those kind of things. Like, I like more, like, subdued kind of, like, jewelry. Like, I could care less about diamonds, but this, like, glittery stuff? Like, why am I liking this glitter? Is it a, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Just kind of pulling this out to the tip of the edge of my eyeshadow too, just to kind of have a little bit of flex of glitter out there. So, you know, there's a little bit of stuff. So there's a little bit of fun on the outside too. We'll touch up the rest of the eyes here in a bit because they do need some touching up. But first I'm gonna go in with, I discovered a new combination that I like and it's the Becca Backlight Primer uh, with my NARS, the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum. Uh, I guess it does say moisturizer, but it's basically a um, tinted foundation, but it's like light. So anyways, I'm gonna do my Becca primer, but I feel like both of these together are like really, it's like nice and glowy. I like, whoa, that is not going where I want it to go. I do not want it under my eye. Um, like the NARS and this, I just discovered it the other day. I'm gonna go in with the tinted moisturizer. Uh, I'm just gonna slap it on. I don't know if this video is going to turn out, I'm not really sure, I'm liking it. Then, okay, so see how it just gives me a light coverage. I don't really care about, I like my skin to show through. So, I appreciate that. I don't like looking like cake face. I hate it when you look at people and they like, their foundation is so thick it looks like it's like going to crack and it kind of looks crumbly and... I don't know, it's just weird. It just doesn't look good. So I go in with my Tarte Maracuja concealer that I always go in with. Gosh, I'm actually like running out of this and I never run out of products that are like, I swear, I don't really run out of products that much. It's so weird. Okay, this is the um, Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in the shade like Light Sand, I believe. And I just put this on with my finger as well. I'm gonna kind of cake it on a little bit underneath because I feel like I've been looking really kind of sad. I'm putting the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna highlight up here. I'm gonna go in with a little beauty blender here and then 
setting. I'm gonna be, I've been using the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder right here. It's less drying than talc. It doesn't have any talc in it, which is nice, and it's cruelty free. So I set my face with just a little bit of this, and I feel like my skin doesn't quite get as irritated. So then I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier under eye brightening powder, which is not cruelty free. And I'm putting that as my under eye, but it's the only one that I have found. Let me know if you guys have a dupe that works just as well. But for my creasy under eyes, I need this because it really helps it not crease. So I use that. And then now these crazy brows. So I am going to go take care of my brows and I will be right back. So here we go. Wink. And I am back with brows. So they are done. Kind of a little full looking. More full than I thought they would end up looking. I'm gonna go underneath with some eyeshadows now because we got all the concealer on there. So now it's time to do the under eye because it looks kind of funny without having anything underneath. So I'm just gonna kind of go in the same order I did with my eyeshadows. I'm gonna go with that light brown Nana right here to start. Um, and just kind of, and I want it to be really blown out underneath too. I mean, not total, but you know, enough. So then I'm gonna go with the orange. Orange is actually called Sakaya. Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm gonna use the ColourPop um, black liner. This one is really good. What's it called? What's the shade? I think it's. What is the shade of it? It's all worn. It's gonna take that same brush and we're just gonna blend out the black a little bit into the orangish shade underneath. Just so it looks a little more blend it into the waterline. Then for the rest of the face, so I'm just going to quickly do a little bit of um, shading and highlight and all that. So let me do, let me get the shade and light palette out here. A couple little bit of those shades. And just contour my face a little bit. I need to finish this video. This is getting like late. It's getting late. It's getting late. I need to seriously get this done now. Okay, and then just let's, let's blend out everything. I'm just gonna go in with Mac Melba right here. It's like an orange peach shade. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna do a little bit of glitter underneath my eyes, which I totally forgot I was going to do. So I'm going to do that right now. Kind of random little spots. Or just kind of trickle it under the eye a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on camera very good. Let's see. Let me zoom in a little bit. I think I want more can see how addicting it is <laughs> No, oh my god okay and then I seriously I need to finish I need to finish I need to get my lips on so I wanted to do a dark shade so oh and my freaking lashes okay you guys so I'll be back I'm gonna pop on lashes and then we will do a lip together so I'll be back in a minute here <laughs> all right you guys I am back and I went ahead and went in with lashes and liner and doesn't it make just such a difference? And my cute little fun hat, because this is all for New Year's, of course. Gotta have something fun, and hopefully this year is gonna be kick-ass, as opposed to 2017, which can just be kicked to the frickin' curb. So, anyways, and then, I'm oh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Lip, I went in with, um, well, first I went in with Darling, which is the ColourPop 
shade that came out of the Femme Rosa collection and I put that on first and then it looks good, like I really like it. Um, but then I saw my Ciate Glitter Flip in Fortune and I was like, oh my gosh. I totally want to do like metallic lip on top so um, and like a fun dark lip so I thought this one would go really well um, so that's what I have on now I am trying to like push my lips together and get that like metallic shade that's supposed to pop through but I think since I put that other shade on underneath it's not really working so whatever it's still fun and I love the color with the with the rest of the eye look so this is it you guys um I hope you enjoyed me getting there I know it took forever sorry somebody's messaging me I even restarted the video at one point and I trashed one look because I was like, no, that's not what I want. I'm thinking too hard. So this one I just kind of like went with whatever, even though it took forever. So, and I came up with this. So I hope you guys enjoy. Here it is a little more zoomed in, a little bit of glitter. I put some underneath my eyes too. And then, you know, it's just fun. It's just fun. So, um... I am going to stop blabbing and let you guys go, and I really do hope you guys have a fantastic new year. I know I'm really excited about it. You guys have fun and be safe out there, and take Uber, take Lyft, whatever. Don't, don't drink and drive. <laughs> Cheers to you, and I will see you guys in 2018. <laughs> Bye. Did not really clean this. Did not really clean my table at all. Like this is gonna be a shit show. Shit show. Okay. Then I think I'm gonna go in with think think think. What do you have that could work? I'm gonna use that. Not really sure what to use, you guys. Mm -hmm.